get some skin samples um, to tell like what whale it is and possibly uh, we could know what sex it is. Try a little sample here if you can't okay. get it anymore, okay? See how well it cuts, if not we can try mine. On this side yeah. over here. You can really see how the propeller just threaded it up. It was amazing. It's yeah, just a power. It was just like basically trying to break a twig. It was like an axe going through it. It's just amazing how that is. This is Brandon McVartick reporting for San Pedro Newspilot.com. I'm here at White Points in uh, in San Pedro with Eric Martin, the co-director of the uh, Roundhouse Aquarium in Manhattan Beach. Eric, you've come out here to take a look at this uh, humpback whale. Tell us what you've seen here. Yeah, it's kind of like pretty spectacular out here. Um, it's kind of sad actually, but basically what we're looking at is a, a, a deceased uh, humpback whale, approximately about, I'm gonna guess about 35 to 40 feet. The flukes actually measured a little over 11 feet. And this whale actually um, died from a ship strike. And it looked like it basically uh, took the head off and the two side pectoral fins. So ba if you look at it this way, so take a look at our body. So basically from our, let's just say our two arms from our head coming straight down like that. So what we hope to do today is basically try to analyze and photo identify this animal if we could basically hopefully through uh, taking a photograph through the flukes and uh, taking a little bit of the skin for DNA samples. How rare is this that a that, that, uh, humpback whale washes up under these circumstances? Well, I would like to say it's very rare, but due to um, the population of humpbacks are increasing dramatically, I shouldn't say dramatically, but are increasing quite a bit. And unfortunately, the, the ship traffic is increasing due to export and so on down the line. So um, there's going to be, there's been more and more encounters of ship strikes with whales quite often now in, in, in our channel as well as in uh, the Santa Barbara channel. How do we get rid of this? How do we get rid of the whale or how do we get the, the whale? How do we get rid of the whale? Uh, how do we get rid of the whale? That's a great question. I know one thing you don't want to do what happened to a whale back in Scotland that came up and this is actually was on TV and stuff. This came up several years ago and somebody had a brilliant idea to go put explosive in the whale to, uh, to blow it up. Um, I saw that on YouTube. Yeah, that, that was a disaster because it put a whale blubber for a long way on top of cars and everybody. So that's a good question. I have no idea. They, um, somebody might just actually grab it and tow it further out to sea when I say somebody. Hancock. Hancock? Is Will Smith out there? Will Smith, uh, if you're there and you can really fly, uh, we need you right now to take it further out.